Finally, we have selected Rowan John to be our graduation speaker. Rowan is a fly under the radar kind of boy, a quiet leader, strong in his convictions, an upstander, modest and respected by all kinds of students. Rowan loves Hun, and it shows. An expert table tennis player, he and Cole exhibited great kindness to Mr. Brome and me in our doubles match, very subtly allowing us to score a few points here and there before they beat us badly. Rowan is an eager and earnest student who puts other, others' feelings first. Rowan, come on up and address the crowd. Thank you. My dear fellow classmates, families, and teachers, it is an honor to speak to all of you at this middle school graduation ceremony. Hun is a school that I dearly love. As I stand here, I can see that I am surrounded by an amazing group of sixth, seventh, and eighth graders and an amazing faculty who believes in us. It is also great to see all the families and friends who support us so that we can attend this great school. My first day at Hun seemed like yesterday. Let me take you back to that date. It was September 5th, 2016, the first day of sixth grade. There were 20 of us bright minds, eager and ready to go. We were all a mighty three or four feet tall. <laughs> All except for Ryan Burroughs, that is, who I'm pretty sure is at least six feet tall for most of his life. <laughs> we all came from different schools, different towns, and di in, in some cases, different countries. We were all filled with a mixture of excitement, nervousness, and curiosity as we met each other for the first time and as we met our teachers and got to know our surroundings. I remember I wondered what life was going to be like in the middle school. Well, it soon became apparent that the Hunt Admissions Committee had done a magical job of selecting an awesome group of smart, diverse, and kind 11-year-olds to join the Hunt family. As we progressed through seventh and eighth grade, m more students joined Hun, and our circle of friends grew. Along the way, we unlocked the mysteries of the Harkness table tackled science and maths, the languages, history, and geography. We experienced the new middle school building. We performed in plays and concerts, and we learned new sports and created amazing art and designs. We also went on field trips, attended school dances, and my personal favorite was the haunted hayride at Halloween. I don't know what was scarier, the ride itself, or Miss Skelly's reactions and screams during the ride. <laughs> or maybe Mr. Kleber's amazing disguise as the Marvel character Venom. <laughs> as time went by, we not only grew a couple of feet in height, but we also grew in stature as students. We learned to be accountable. We learned that we often needed to work together as a team and we learned that having different opinions and perspectives can bring out the best in all of us. Most of all, if I had to focus on two things from my middle school experience, the first would be learning how to live the, by the Han mod, Hun motto, which is quirite scientium et honorum. Dr. Talboy would tell us that this is Latin for seek knowledge and honor. My grandfather once told me that our minds are like parachutes, that they only work when they're open. As students in Hun, we know the first requirement to, to seek knowledge is to have an inquiring and open mind. And that is what we bring every day to school as we follow the school motto. The second would be to prioritize kindness and to treat everyone with respect. Whether it's on a sports team or in class, or hanging out in the global commons. Hun middle schoolers know to prioritize these qualities so it becomes a part of who they are. I'm sure we can all agree, if each of us do these things, that we are going to be well prepared for life and the world will be a better and kinder place too. 
Now as eighth graders, we have passed the challenges of middle school. It is time to move on to a different stage in life and take with us the lessons we have learned over the past three years. I think high school will be challenging, but it will also be fun. They say that in life, there are no elevators to success and that we will have to take the stairs to achieve it. I'm sure that is going to be true and we will be ready for it. Finally, on behalf of all the eighth graders, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank some special people. Thank you to our parents and, and families for providing us with the opportunity to be at Hun and for supporting us in countless ways. We appreciate you every day. Thank you also to Mr. Broham, Mr. Weinstein, Ms. Anderson, Ms. Schneider, and every member of the faculty and staff who have made such a difference in our lives. They made learning fun and they brought out the best in us, even if sometimes all they got in return was a lesson in patience and how to put up with chatty kids. <laughs> to all our awesome teachers, thank you. You shaped us, you cheered us on, and you believed in us. <laughs> on behalf of all the eighth graders, I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank all the seventh and sixth graders for being such awesome teammates and friends. It has been our privilege to share our middle school years with you. We wish you well, and we look forward to welcoming you to high school as old friends. I will conclude by quoting from the wise sayings of one of the most inspirational people in modern times. Who else than the dragon warrior himself? <laughs> Poe from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Poe says, your real strength comes from the best you you can be. So who are you? What are you good at? What makes you, you? Well, to me, the answer to that question is found within the three years at Hun, the middle school. For me in the class of 2023, thank you.